Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Tech Repair video. In today's episode, we're going to be working on this 13 inch MacBook Pro. This is a 2020 model 2251, uh, the model just before the M series came out. Uh, this unit was mailed into us for a battery replacement. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get into the repair. So we're going to start, of course, by flipping the unit over and using a pentalobe screwdriver to remove the screws that fasten the bottom cover to the assembly. And now with the help of a suction cup, we're gonna go ahead and pull upwards on the bottom case. And now we're going to push the top case away from us and pull the bottom case towards ourselves. And that's gonna release uh, these fingers here that slot into the top case up here. So now that we're inside the unit, the very first thing we're going to do is peel off this cover. And now we're going to go ahead and unfasten the battery management unit flex cable. Take a T5 screwdriver and unfasten the pancake screw that connects the two together. And now our unit's safe to work on. So the next step, we're gonna go ahead and take a T3 screwdriver and unfasten the two screws and remove the retention bar uh, that holds the trackpad flex cable to the logic board. And we're gonna unplug the trackpad flex cable and peel it off of the battery and just kind of bend it away. It will normally flop back and forth, but as long as it's unplugged, uh, you can always peel it back off. And the next thing we're gonna do is take some isopropyl alcohol and put it all around the battery here. Uh, this is just gonna help break down the adhesive and make it easier to remove the battery. And while that's breaking down the adhesive, we're gonna go back to our T5 screwdriver and unfasten the two screws holding the battery management unit uh, board in place, as well as unplugging the other end of the management unit flex cable, because uh, we will be transferring this cable over to the other battery. Set that aside for now. And now we just have to uh, wait for our isopropyl alcohol to help break down that glue. You can always put more, you really can't use too much of this. I would recommend 98% or higher as it will evaporate very quickly. So now that we've let the isopropyl alcohol uh, break down the adhesive, we're gonna take a flat edge pry here and you can start from the bottom, the side uh, or the top, whatever is easiest for you guys. I just like to start from the bottom. So we have both of the sides free. Now we just have the center piece here. Uh, be careful because the trackpad does lie under here and there are some cutouts or you could damage uh, some SMDs, some ICs, any surface mount component here. So make sure you're coming down, not straight down at an angle. All right, so it's the battery finally free. We're just gonna go ahead and remove the old one for now and clean up these adhesive strips. So to clean off these adhesive strips, again, I recommend soaking them in alcohol. And taking a flat spudger here, I'm gonna use a metal one just to make it easier uh, and just scraping them off. So now that our adhesive has been removed and everything's all clean, we can go ahead and grab our new battery here. If you guys are looking for any parts or tools you see in the video, such as our spudgers, our batteries, anything of the sort, check us out at techdep.com. 
if you're interested in a mail-in repair similar to the one you see today or an advanced data recovery service, also check us out at techtop.com. We do it all every day. All right, so our center point here, which we're gonna line up on, is gonna be this little bar here, as well as the two screw points in the center. And we're gonna lay down our edges first, followed by the left-hand corner as well. We're gonna firmly press everything down just to make sure it is fully adhered to the top case. And peel off this protective cover. Now we're gonna grab the two T3, or tier T5, sorry, uh, screws and use them to secure the battery uh, daughter board here. We're going to take our plastic spudger and open up the retention bar for our battery management unit flex cable here. Uh, they are two different sized ends. So the smaller end here goes here and the larger end goes to the logic board. We're going to close that retention bar and tape everything down. Now we're going to take our T5 pancake screw, lay the actual connecting point down and screw it in. Plug in our battery management unit flex cable, close the retention bar, tape it down, take our trackpad cable, plug it in, stick it to the new battery. Take the retention bracket and two T3 screws. Secure these into their homes, right, like so. Place the cover for our battery uh, management unit cable here, just to make sure nothing comes unplugged or makes contact with something that's not supposed to. Now we're gonna take our bottom cover and we're gonna slide one side on at a time on the top right and left. And now we're gonna click it down. And reinstall our pentalobe screws. Uh, the two longest ones go in the top right and left corner. The bottom four are all the same length. All right, all that's left to do is flip the unit over, grab a charger, plug it in, and make sure it charges correctly, turns on, and the battery correctly reports the level of charge on the battery. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Perfect. Looks like everything's gonna check out here. That's gonna wrap up today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and with the help of the community, we'll make sure to assist you. If you saw any parts or tools you need in the video, check us out at techtep.com or click the link below for mail-in repairs. We'll see you guys in the next episode.